Hey, today we're going to talk about how to add pause to a Rayleigh game. Adding pause is kind of easy. Uh, we simply need to keep some kind of state variable around that tells us if we are paused or not. And then we update what the game does based on how that's set. It's a common misconception that you need to pause the entire game loop and have the game wait for some time by calling sleep. This is not correct. Using threading concepts such as sleep to implement pause will not work correctly with Raylib. Raylib is not an engine like Unity or Godot, and there is no background system that runs the game and checks for input. This means that if you sleep the main thread, nothing will happen in that thread. There will be no drawing, no input, nothing will happen. In fact, Windows will think that your application has crashed or locked up. In games, we need to keep drawing things every frame and keep the game loop flowing. Even if the game isn't actually processing any game state, you still need to draw something. For this reason, we use a game state variable that tells us what to draw when. Game state variables are just a fancy word for global variables. We use them to store what state the game is in and what it should do. So here, we're going to start with a very basic example. It has a normal game loop, and what we're going to do is we're going to make it draw a ball that will move to the from left to right, bounce against each wall, and go back and forth. Now we're going to add the code to pause when the spacebar is pressed. When we're paused, what we eventually want to have happen is the ball to stop moving and we'll show a message to the user that we are paused. So first we're going to need a variable to store if we're paused or not. That is simply going to be a boolean that we're going to call paused that we set to false and it's going to be a global. Next, what we want to do is every frame, check and see if someone pressed the spacebar, and if so, we're going to change the pause state. So we're just going to check if key pressed, if paused equals not paused. So if paused was false, it'll be true. If it was true, it'll be false. The next thing we can do to verify that we've set everything correctly is we're simply going to display the state of paused. If we're paused, we're going to draw the word paused on the screen. So now, as our little game runs, if we press the spacebar, we see the word pause. So we are, in fact, toggling our state on and off. So what we need to do now is make our actual game logic respect this pause and stop doing its thing when we're paused. So just like we did for drawing the pause state, we want to simply only to update our ball's position if we're not paused. So now, when we run the game, when we're not paused, we're going to go ahead and make the ball bounced. If we are paused, we won't. So our ball is moving, we press paused, we're stopped. That's all there is to a pause state. It's simply a global variable that you set and you base your logic on that. This concept of global state is used for all kinds of things. You can use it for any menus, screens, loading, saving, any state you want to track, you simply make a variable for it. You can use booleans and enumeration and integer, whatever works for you, just as long as you know what the value means. And then when you're doing your game loop, you simply switch what you're doing based on that. Uh, the Raylib examples that I'll link in the description of this video show an excellent way how to do this. So thank you for your time and I hope this helped.